was in 1844 that Congress authorized $30,000 for the first telegraph line between Washington and Baltimore. And soon afterwards, Samuel Morse sent a stream of dots and dashes over that line, and his message was brief and prophetic, and it read, What hath God wrought? Every one of us should feel the same awe and wonderment here today. For today, miracles in communication are daily routine. Billions of signals rush over the ocean and fly above the clouds. Radio and television fill the air with sound. Satellite hurl messages thousands of miles in a matter of seconds. And today our problem is not making miracles, but managing miracles. Our nation wants more than just material wealth. We in America have an appetite for excellence too. And while we work every day to produce new goods and to create new wealth, we want most of all to enrich man's spirit. So today we rededicate a part of the airwaves which belong to all the people and we dedicate them for the enlightenment of all the people. I believe the time has come to stake another claim, stake a claim based upon the combined resources of communications. I believe the time has come to enlist the computer and the satellite, as well as television and radio, and to enlist them in the cause of education. I think we must consider new ways to build a great network for knowledge, not just a broadcast system, but one that employs every means of sending and of storing information that the individual can use. What hath man wrought, and how will man use his miracles? The answer just begins with public television.